Here's an AJAX example that shows how you can use multiple XML HTTP request objects, as many as you need, automatically. You don't have to provide for creating independent objects by yourself. We'll see how this is automatic. This is using multiple HTT XML HTTP request objects. You can click the display message button and you see this text was fetched using AJAX. Display message 2 and this text was also fetched using AJAX is displayed. The point here is that you can use as many XML HTTP requests as you need. They can all be issued at the same time and they won't be confused because this object, this example uses multiple XML HTTP request objects at the same time. Let's take a look how this works. And as you see here, you can have the two buttons, display message and display message 2. And they both call the same function, get data. And the first function calls get data with data.txt, requiring data.txt in the server, and the second button calls get data with data2.txt. So how does this actually work? How do you actually modify the get data function to create automatically multiple XML HTTP request objects as needed? As you see, this creates a, in this case, creates a single XML HTTP request object like this, and then it's used inside the get data function. How do you modify this JavaScript so that multiple HTML X, XML HTTP request objects are created as needed? All you have to do, it turns out, is take this text out and place it here in the inside the get data function. So you see what we've done is moved this JavaScript from outside the get data function to inside the get data function. What does that do for us? That allows you to create an XML HTTP request object every time the get data function is called. So separate XML HTTP request objects will be created each time the get data function is called because this variable is local to the function. So instead of creating a global XML HTTP request object, you're now putting the creation process of the XML HTTP request object into the get data function. What that means is every time the get data function is called, a separate XML HTTP request object will be created automatically. So that's the way to solve the problem of possibly confusing the response from a single XML HTTP request object. The solution is to create multiple XML HTTP request objects. And that works as you see here. You just have to put the creation code for that request object inside the get data function. What that means is that XML will automatically create an XML HTTP request object every time the get data function is called, and they will all be separate objects. They will all be separate objects that will have separate callback functions. So that's the way to handle the, the problem of the potential problem of overlapping responses from a single XML HTTP request object is to create multiple request objects. And you do that this way by placing the creation code inside the JavaScript function that is actually going to connect to the server. So that's the way to that's the way to handle the problem of multiple versus single XML HTTP request objects when you have multiple requests being made at the same time. You just create multiple request objects. You can do that as you see here very simply just by placing the creation code inside the function that actually interacts with the server.